Hey guys, how's it going? We're going to talk about masking today. Looks like Lightroom's added some new features that are pretty freaking cool. So I have a photo here of a couple on their wedding day up at a very cold canyon. And I want to do a, uh, a mask that just selects, auto selects the couple. So I would go up to masks, click select sub subject, and it just automatically detected them. And to be honest, the mask looks pretty good. Looks like they almost feather a little bit on the edges. And I mean, that's pretty good for Lightroom, to be honest. And with that, you can just go up and make adjustments. And I honestly can see where this would be extremely helpful in a lot of odd lighting situations. So in this case, I probably would do something like maybe push a little more blacks out try and separate them from the background just a little bit. I might, if, I, if I'm if i lacking a little bit of color in the skin tone, I might even push a little saturation. You know, if you go too far, you're gonna see what happens. But if you're lacking a little skin tone, what a great way to do it rather than affecting all of the orange in the photo or having to just, you know, use a brush on their face and try to miss the edges. So I like it. I mean, how cool is that? Uh, the other mask that I'm a little excited for is the sky mask because sometimes um, you want to just affect the sky. So you'd go up here if you already have a mask selected, which I do on these guys. You click plus and click select sky and it detects the sky. And that's a pretty good mask. And with that, you could do things like maybe bring exposure down a touch expose a little of the clouds if they're not super overblown or blown out. And then you could even add a little bit of warmth to it, make it look a little bit more like a sunset. Now, the only thing you got to be kind of careful with here, I'm, I've noticed is that edge of that mask going on that horizon there. It sometimes is too much for me. That orange right on that edge of that mask, it sometimes makes it look a little unrealistic like it's a mask. So um, I guess one way you could probably fix that is do a brush mask and just go around that that horizon there. And then I would just desaturate it, maybe just a little bit. So we go over here, saturation. Bring her down and something maybe like that. It's a little less distracting. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, it was a very easy, quick video. I just wanted to kind of go over some new stuff in Lightroom. I guess new to me, to be honest. I've never played with it, but I can definitely see how the, the subject mask would be really helpful. Um, saves you a lot of time, especially if you're going through hundreds of photos and you want to do that maybe on, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 photos. That'd be really helpful. Uh, the sky mask, I would use it sparingly in my work, but I can see how it could be cool. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks so much guys for watching. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed and leave a comment. I'm uh, trying to reply to all the comments if you have any questions and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.